Hey, I'm John Cannell, and today on Preppy Kitchen, we're making an easy, delicious frittata. So let's get started. Preheat your oven to 400 Fahrenheit. We want it nice and toasty by the time our frittata is coming together. First off, I'm cracking eight room temperature eggs into a large bowl. This is one of my favorite ways to do two things. Use up veggies in the fridge and feed a bunch of people in the morning or later morning for brunch. No one wants to stand over a pan and like make egg after egg. A frittata is one of the best way to feed a group of people. And I have to say, I don't think they're as popular as they should be. One reason is people might think they're a bit complicated. They're not. You might think, oh, burnt eggs. That's what I thought. I hate burnt eggs. But a properly made frittata will not be burnt. It'll have a silky custardy texture with all that cheese and it's amazing. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, <laughs> needless track. I'm adding a third of a cup of heavy cream to this. This is gonna give us a lot of richness and hold everything together. Grab that whisk, and here's the important thing. You're not gonna go crazy on this. Don't do that, please. We're gonna gently mix this together, just because if you work too much air into the eggs, you have a lot of little bubbles, and as you might know from baking, those bubbles expand in the oven, and it'll be spongy and dry and not silky. So just give it a nice little whisk just to move it together. Not going mm -mm. This is great. I'm also seasoning this with about half a teaspoon of salt. This gets set aside. I have a 12 inch skillet. This is where the magic happens. It needs to be something that you can pop into the oven. So no plastic handles, has to be oven safe. Otherwise bad things will happen. I have a little bit of prep work to do, so I'm gonna be chopping an onion. Just give it a rough chop. It doesn't have to be perfect at all. Although, a finer chop might be nice. <laughs> I'm not gonna have you hanging around chopping and waiting for stuff to get warm though. We're gonna stage this out so it all comes together with like no waiting. Because chances are, if you're making a frittata, you have family that's hungry, guests that are coming over, and you don't wanna hover and waste time. Okay, go ahead. Heat your oil up before you chop that onion. Three tablespoons of olive oil right in there. Once your oil is shimmering in the pan like it is now, we can add that onion in, which of course you chopped while it heated up. And we're gonna stir this occasionally. I want these onions to get translucent and even take on some color. I love caramelized onions, so we could take them in that direction if you want. While our onion is cooking and you're stirring occasionally, you're gonna mince up four cloves of garlic. Give this garlic a smash, very satisfying. Keep stirring occasionally. Say goodbye to that papery skin and hello to sticky garlic fingers, but it's worth it. And I'm using like four or five cloves of garlic. I just really go by the mass of the garlic and how I feel. So however much you want, it's really gonna work out. Since I have a minute or two left, I'm gonna add some veggies that I like that are in the fridge today. So I have some zucchini. And we want about three cups of veggies, so it's really up to you, whatever they are. You could add some squash into this. There could be potato or sweet potato. I would just say to go on a slightly thinner side for chopping, just so things cook up evenly and you have nicer bite-sized pieces. In fact, I'm gonna make good choices and quarter this so they're smaller. Stir maybe a little bit more frequently if you see any browning occurring. One bell pepper, I love some bell pepper, but if you don't like it, something else, <laughs> anything will work. Hmm, this is really getting very hot. A lot of color. <sighs> All right, the last thing I'm gonna add today is a little bit of asparagus. I'm just gonna chop it up into bite-sized pieces. I'm not gonna add too much of the woody stalks. I actually like to shave these down and cook them and use them for other things. I'm gonna add my garlic in. Mmm, so fragrant right away. Now I'm adding my chopped veggies. There we go. The asparagus, the peppers, and our zucchini. And stir it up. And also a lot of this moisture is in a cook off. Too much water in here right now. And depending on your veggies, this will be about five to eight minutes. So just stir, stir, stir. And I'm over medium heat still, so it's not super hot and it's just gonna cook these guys until they're crisp tender so you still have a play of textures and it's not just like a mushy, silky frittata. 
These guys are almost where they need to be. They're almost crisp tender. So I'm gonna add some spinach right now, just like a handful or two. You can see the leafy greens wilt really quickly. And yeah, you could have used kale in here. Swiss chard is like one of my mom's favorites that I love as well. So whenever she comes over, when we make something like this, she would definitely bring some Swiss chard from her garden. So this is where the magic happens. I told you earlier that I do not like burnt eggs. <laughs> nope. But these are gonna go into the oven. Our eggs aren't gonna burn because we're gonna cook them properly and they're gonna be over a bed of veggies. The, veg the veggies are gonna get like the blast of heat from the pan. Veggies and some cheese. Right now I'm spreading over about a cup of shredded cheese. Any cheese you like will work well. Goat cheese, delicious. Gouda, amazing. Some mozzarella, cheddar, jack, anything you want. I have my egg mixture right here. I'm just gonna pour that right over everything else. Get all that egg out. I'm gonna sprinkle the remaining half cup of cheese over the top. We're gonna to cook this for about five minutes over that medium heat just until the edge starts to set. We're not gonna cook it through in the pan. That would lead to burning. If you look closely, you can see the edge is just setting on my frittata, so this is gonna go into the oven 400 degrees for about eight minutes or until it's puffed and set, but not burnt. The sprinkling of some more cheese, it'll melt right on. I'm adding some more mozzarella as well as some Parmesan. So grate that on. To finish it off, I'm just gonna add a few fresh herbs sprinkled over the top. It's very pretty and you'll get a kiss of flavor and a little hint of some herbal wonderfulness. And just like that, your frittata is ready to enjoy. Those eggs are so silky with the cheese and the cream. And I love the tenderness of the veggies sprinkled throughout. You've got to try this recipe. It is the ultimate breakfast and brunch treat. And if you like this video, check out my breakfast playlist.